here you see is a list with some eight elements and I don't like this list because it's not sorted and I would like to go ahead and then sort it. One way to do it of course is simply say L sort and then print L. Perfect. You see that the list is sorted and the entire course is less to do with you using built-in functions and more to do with you understanding how you can write a piece of code all by yourself. So what I'll do is let's say no to this. <laughs> okay. Let's say no to built-in functions and let's do it the hard way. I'm sure many of you are already realizing that I'm, I'm, I'm being a big fan of writing long quotes while we can actually do it with a very, very short snippet of code, right? So I'm doing it purposefully just to ensure that we get our hands wet and do it from first principles. Okay, so what's the fun in, um, you know, simply saying that everything exists, you see the whole course, the whole of your BSc in data sciences and programming will be a waste because you needn't have to write a single piece of code because everything that you will write probably is already there, <laughs> right? For practice sake, I think we should uh, try to uh, sort of reinvent the wheels. So let's reinvent this wheel of sort. Let us try to emulate sort. Let us try to redo how one can sort these numbers. Okay, so let me remove all the other things except for the uh, list L. How would I sort this the obvious way? You know, in computer science, the moment you say sort, there are some dozens of ways in which you can sort a bunch of numbers. Let's do it the commonsensical way. And what's that commonsensical way? Let me try to reinvent my own sorting technique. Okay, so I will call a new array x and what I'll do is for a moment I'll not do programming, I'll use this place as a slate. Okay, so I will try to see through L and try to see what is the least element here. Okay, uh, in fact but the moment you see it, you see 6 is the least element but machine wise how will you find out what is the least element? What if this uh, list were to be a very big list and that just by staring at it you couldn't figure out that 6 is indeed the least element if there were to be some thousand elements here. How do you go about it? You will say, you will see the first element and you call this the least element and go ahead and you see, oh I now have 10, I'll call 10 as the least element, I will not call 12 as the least element. So I'll say initially I'll say least equals 12 but then no 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 least was 10 and then I see 7 here I see 7 here and say oh no 10 is not the least 7 is the least and then I see 18 here I say 7 is still the least so far as I'm reading through this little line um, you know sequentially from left to right 18 is not less so 7 is the least seen so far but then you have 6 so then you remove 7 and say 6 is the least seen so far and then 42 still 6 is the least seen so far 8 35 6 is the least seen so far the moment you do that you put 6 here you put 6 here and then remove 6 from here and then repeat this process. I mean what is, this appears very complicated when we try to do it this way but all I am saying is pick the least element, put that to x and remove that least element there. As you can see you go through it, the least was 12 and then you saw 10 and the least became 10, initially it was 12 and then it becomes 10, I am sorry 10 and then it becomes 7 and 18 is not less, 42 is not less than 7, 8 is not less than 7, 35 is not less than 7, so 7 is the least, so what I'll do is I will remove 7 from here and plug that in here, you see I'm getting a sorted list slowly in the making, right? So and then once again you can just see it and then simply plug in 8 here but you must understand the process with which you pick that. You start from the left, you call the first one as the least and then keep seeing something lesser than what you have seen so far as the least and then change your least value as you get better and better terms. That way you will get the minimum most here. 
so you will get 8 here you remove 8 and plug that 8 in here and then the next one as you go ahead like this least is 12 no no 10 no 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 18 no it's not least 22 no 35 no 10 is the least so you plug in 10 here and you remove 10 here you see the list is slowly getting sorted you are removing entries of L and plugging them into X and surprisingly for you they are getting sorted similarly 12 will come here 18 will come here let me just remove this line you understand what this means right so we are going to write a code using this very idea 18 then 34 and then 42 as this happens the list gets deleted I, I skipped a lot of steps here I suppose you understood okay so let me undo everything and go back to the beginning uh, okay so all that I typed I am undoing it so that just the list is there now I'm gonna write a program here let us write a piece of code that does what we just now explained okay so let's go ahead and do that now so let's try writing a piece of code so what did you have there you had x being empty initialized and you should find the minimum most element in l how do you do that initially you declare least or i'll call it minimum it's easy on a mind or even least any variable will do minimum to be the first element in l okay and then i will go through the entire list l for i in range len of l will go through the entire list and as it goes to the entire list i say if l of i is less than minimum okay just in case l of i is less than minimum all right only then you call minimum as that l of i obviously here as you enter the for loop the first one will be l of 0 is less than minimum obviously not because minimum is already l of 0 12 is not less than 12 so this will not happen but then 10 is less than 12 so minimum will be equal to 10 and then 7 is less than 10 so minimum will be equal to 7 so on and so forth and finally 6 will get stuck here as minimum and finally if I say print min okay let's see what happens at this level let me just stop coding and execute this and see what I expect here I expect what to be what to get printed here i expect six to get printed here let's see if that's happening yeah that's indeed happening here as you can see just now executed i get six here i'm just increasing the font size so that it's clear to you people so i get six here very good so assuming i plugged in some five here and then execute it i should get five yeah i'm getting five this is how you code line by line trying to ensure that what you're doing is right okay so uh, but this is just giving me the minimum most number I want the entire list sorted how do I do that so what I do is I don't print minimum I plug in minimum to my new list X okay and then I should remove that element from L you see uh, we did some warming up of lists okay in the in the very first lesson in this week we did talk about how you can remove an element from a list you simply say l remove min and it will remove the first occurrence of that number don't break your head you will see what's happening now so let us print l and let us also print i'm sorry let's also print x here see what happens so l becomes 12 10 7 18 6 6 is retained that's because we had included 5 so 5 gets removed 5 did get removed and 5 has come here very good news we are through but then we need to keep doing this so this entire stuff should be inside a small loop <laughs> you see what is that loop figure out so i'll say while l is not empty L is not empty. Of course, we are not going to write it like that. We are going to write it symbolically. We will say while length of L is greater than 0. 
which means length of L should at least be one, which means L should have at least one element. Then I go ahead and do this. As I know, slowly the length of L is decreasing because of this line here, where I'm removing one element at a time. Correct? And finally, out of outside this while loop, I'm going to display L and X. I'm hoping now that this will take care of the fact that my list X will be the sorted version of L. Why? Because I'm going through this entire thing again and again and again, trying to append new elements into X and trying to remove the elements and then moving them to X. So L is becoming smaller and smaller. X is getting bigger and bigger with the values of L entering into, entering into X the sorted way. Hip hip hooray as usual 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 18, 35, 42 and we have done it. So let me try including more numbers here 5, 6, 1, 5, and 1, 5, 6, 1, 7, 64, 9, 8, 8, 0, 6, 1, 8, 2. Okay, so let me just execute this. Perfect, it's getting sorted. Now, let me try to include a repetition. So, 7 is here, 7 is here as well. Let's see if it sorts. What's your first guess? Do you think this will throw an error or will it sort? Wow, it is sorting. It is, it is, it is showing 7 and 7 twice. Right? Sometimes you get free gifts like this. You never fix the code for repetitions, but it is taking care of repetitions. Why? It's actually very easy to observe. In fact, whenever you remove an element, the first occurrence of that element gets removed. In the next iteration inside the while loop, that very number gets caught once again and then it gets removed. Too many technicalities. Again, the, the, the entire class, I'm sure, of all you people, a few thousands of you people, some of you find this very silly, very straightforward. We have done this already in our school days. Why are you repeating it? While many, many, many of you, this comes as a surprise. What is happening? This looks so complicated. You see editor with some tab going on the right like this, you know, like a slide, you know, what are you doing here? This is just like a mechanic shop. Don't expect it to look like a, a word editor or your Google Docs where it all looks very neat and you start typing your letter, right? It's not like that. It's a hardcore mechanic workshop where you, you know, you grease your hands, your uh, shirt and pan gets uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, dirty and that is how you write a piece of code, right? So this is how it is. You should get used to it. While, while you type, you'll get errors. While you type, you'll get confused. You must go very slowly. Right. So before you type the code here, the way I explained, you know, I sort of had the experience of how to write the code, but then you may not have it. What you should do is you should write it on a sheet of paper, try to figure out what the logic is and then come here and type it. All right. I hope you people enjoyed the first obvious sorting program which you have already learnt in computational thinking course but I did not use any word here probably you learnt insertion sort there I, I just did the obvious sort here I am not even going to give a name for this All right? in fact you will be seeing more and more and more sorting techniques during your entire program All right? okay so let's go to the next topic thank you